Hello, Morena. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, Julio. Hello, Mario. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you tonight? How do you feel tonight? Do you feel angry, tired, stressful? I'm tired. Tired. I'm sorry tired. to hear that. Okay. <laughs> And Mario, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Fine, fine, thank you. Okay. I'm not happy much. that you're not fine. Bad. No bad. Okay, perfect. Hello, Luis. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very good. And you, teacher? I'm fine, thanks for asking me. That's okay. Hello. Hello, Jonathan, welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher, thank you. Good evening. Okay, so let's see. Um, in tonight's class, we are going to have a review of the final test, right? It is supposed that you have already taken this test, right? Quien ya terminó el examen final? Can you please tell me? Who has already finished the final test? I no. think I need. Oh. <laughs> oh, no yet. Aún no han terminado el examen final. No lo han hecho. I know. Oh, Me, yes. Oh, I finished. I finished. I finished. Teacher. Okay. You finish, teacher. Jonathan and Mario say, I have already finished. And what about you, Morena? Yes, ya lo terminé. Ah, okay, perfect. Very good. So don't forget that today is the last day, right? And tomorrow, right, during the day. Because uh, tomorrow is our last class, right? So it is supposed that before the last class, the final test and all the exercise must be finished. Deben de estar terminados, ¿verdad? ¿Ya van por la sección número 5? Yes. Yes, section number 5. Okay, so now we are going to take a look of the final test, right? We're going to have a, a review where you don't have any problem to complete those exercises and evaluation. So thank you very much for your punctuality and let's start, right? What is the final test? Let me show you. <coughs> okay, here we go. Let's start with tonight class. We're going to take a look of the final test and the exercise, exercise that you have to complete in this test. This is the final exam and it has six, six exercises that you have to complete. The first one is this one. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you see the web page? Yes? No. No, no really? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ya pueden ver la página web. This is the this is the platform in which you have been working on during this day. So this is the final exam. You are going to find the final exam immediately after the section number five. So final exam. The first one is a listening part. So you have to listen this. You have to play in this part. In case it doesn't work, you can click on this on this icon, right? And you are going to 
it is going to display a, look at this, I'm going to show you. It is going to display this, uh, this page in which you can click play tour, right? And you can listen in case you have any problem with this. Now here we have the questions. You are going to have four questions to answer in this part. Is, estas son las cuatro preguntas que usted respondió, ¿verdad? En este examen. Los que ya lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Yes. Ya llegaron. Okay, so the instruction said, listen to Helen and Mark's conversation and select the best answer to the question. Now let's see. This is the exercise B or the second exercise. Complete the sentences. You are going to take a loop of this map. In case you can't see it in this page, you can click on this and you are going to see it like this one. It is going to display this other web page and you can see it a uh, bigger way. Right? So you can see the picture bigger. Then <coughs> you have to complete this, right? You have to complete using this answer. So you click the selects, you select the option here. And here you have the option to complete these exercises. So it is about the preposition of place. Do you remember the preposition of place? Do you remember them? Yeah, on the street, on the right. Okay, yes, you are going on, to use those. On, on the corner of? On the corner of, across from, next to, between, behind. So you are going to use those prepositions. And we are going to have a review tonight, so don't worry. You are going to remember, I am sure. Then we have this set of questions in exercise number three, and it says select the best answer for each question. So you have here the questions, and in the auction, you are going to find the answer. So you have to choose from which one do you think is the right, the right answer for this question? So you select there the answer. You have five, five questions in this part. Then we have some phrases, right? Some phrases we need to match the verse with the correct word or phrases. So hat, so you say hat for us, has a picnic, have tennis, have a play, hat swimming. So you have to choose here the right, the right word to make a phrase. Played, so you say play for us, play a picnic, play tennis, a play, play swimming. Took, took for us, took a picnic, took tennis, took a play, took swimming. So you have to choose the best, the best word or phrase to, to make correct phrases. Any question in this exercise? Mm -hmm. No question. Does it Any look question. difficult? Does it look difficult? No, not really, right? It's kind of easy in this part. Really? Then we have to complete this conversation in exercise number four. Oh, sorry, five. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. We are going to need here the simple past tense, right? Simple past tense to complete these exercises. So you choose here the right answer, the one that you think is right, and you are going to complete this one. Los que ya hicieron el test, ya vieron esta parte, ¿verdad? Se suponía que para el día de hoy todos debíamos de haber terminado ya este examen. But you still... Mañana, hoy ha sido un día súper complicado para mí. Okay, I understand, right? You still have time, right? But for tomorrow, it must be completed. Okay. So, and here is the last exercise. It's a reading. It's a reading. Home alone is the name of this reading. So read the article and then answer the question. Vamos a leer este pequeño artículo and then we are going to answer this question. You have one, two, three questions about the reading, please, it's important that you click on this submit button. En el botón azulito que se activa, ¿verdad? Cuando usted termina acá, enviar o submit. 
No se le olvide darle clic, si no, sus respuestas no van a quedar grabadas en la plataforma y no le va a tomar en cuenta su examen, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. And this is the final test. Yeah, let's see, does it look difficult or does it look easy? Easy. <laughs> kind of easy, right? Kind of easy. <laughs> And we are going to practice tonight in, let's see, I'm going to share with you the presentation of tonight. And the topic for today is final test review, final test review. Okay, here we go. Let me know, please, if you can see the presentation. Yes. Okay, final test yes. review. We are going to have a review of the final test, right? For the one who has already taken it, it's a review, right? And for the other one, you are going to take a look of this test during this class. So let's start. Let's start with a listening. Listen, you are going to listen and then you are going to answer this, this question. Let us start with listening number one. So let me know if you can listen. One. Hey, Mark. Can you listen? Can you listen the conversation? Yes. Yes. yes I can. Ah, okay, thank you. Here we go. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, now, where are Helen? The conversation is between Mark and Helen. Where are they going? <laughs> The gas station and the department store. Oh, you say the gas the bank, the bank. The, the, no, sorry, the bank and, and the department store. Okay, the bank and also the department store. So yeah. um, do you agree with do you agree with Walter? Están todos yes. de acuerdo? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, let's listen the second. Two. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Okay, now the question, where is a Smith's department store? Do you want to listen again? Or do you know the answer? On the, on the corner on the of corner. First and Main. Okay, very on good. First main, on First Main. On the corner of First and Main. Let's see if you're right. We're going to see here. Yes. Two. Uh-oh. I think. Okay, this is the first one. This is the first one. Here is the transcript of the first listening. So listen again and follow the, the reading. One. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you gonna drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm gonna walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, that is the first one. Uh, I need to volunteer to practice this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to participate? Thank you, Alpha M. Me, teacher. Thank you, Walter. So, Alpha, you are Helen, and Walter, you are Mark. Okay, Mark, where are you going? 
Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present to the Smith department store. Are you gonna drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in, in the car. I'm gonna walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith. Can I come? Come, no, can I come with you? Sure. Okay. Thanks for your help. Thank, thank you very much. So, can can I come with you? Can I come with you? Okay, thank you. So uh, let's listen to the other picture. part. Very good job. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go with the next. What is the next? Give me a second. Okay, here is it. Listen and follow the rhythm. We're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Also, as you can see, you were right, right? Department is me to the department store. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Very good job. Thank you. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation between Helen and Mark. Any volunteer tonight? Yo, teacher. Um, okay. Senia and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you. So, Senia, you are teacher. Helen and you are Mark. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, I think we are lost. Where is Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where is it is? No, not really. Well, this thing is a uh, second street. No, it's not. We are on second street now. I think it's on my. You are Rick, it's on the corner of Pierce and Main. Okay, excellent job. Thank you very much. Thank you. So let's go. There are another two parts of this lesson. We're going to listen and you have to tell me the answer of this question. How do you get to a Smith department store? How do you get there? So pay attention to the listening. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Okay, how do you get to Smith Department Store? Do you want to listen again? Listen again. Escuchemos una vez más. What is the direction to this place? What is the address to get there? Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Okay. Which phrases to give the direction could you listen in this listening? Fair Street in the mine. Okay, first strip and the main. Okay, which other one? Thank you. Very good job. Any other one? ¿Qué otra frase pudieron escuchar para dar direcciones? Okay, turn left. 
Oh, turn right to, turn right to. And Second Avenue also. Second Avenue also. Okay, let's see if you're right. Three. Um, what are you going to buy for so your So how father? do we get there from I'm here? Not sure. Well, we're on second. Okay. It is it. It's, um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we are on second now, right? Yeah, well, we just walk up second to me. Are you sure? Yes, then we turn right, it's down the street on the left. So this is the direction and these are the phrases, right? These are the phrases that we use to give direction. For example, turn right is one of them, down the street, and here is another one on, on the left. Right, and also this one, walk up, walk up, right? And this is the question that we used when we are lost and we need some direction to get to some place, right? So how do we get there? How do I get there from here? Como llego ahí, verdad? Como llego a ese lugar? So I need to. Como llego ahí desde aquí. Ok, yes, right. ¿Cómo llego a ese lugar desde acá? From here. So, any volunteer to practice in this small conversation? Who wants to help me tonight? Go, go, go. It's almost our last class. So, practice, practice. Any volunteer? Come on, partners. Hello, hello. Any volunteer to practice? Me. Thank you, Julio. Julio and something else. Me, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Julio and Luis. So, Luis, can you please start and then Julio? Okay. Okay. Um. So, how do we get there from here? Well, we we are on second now, right? Yeah, well, we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, yeah. then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Okay. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Let's listen the last, the last part of this listening exercise. And the question for this last one is, what is Mark, uh, what is Mark going to buy? What is Mark going to buy? ¿Qué va a comprar? Va. What is Mark going to buy? Hay un is que está de más ahí. ¿Cuál es el que tengo que eliminar? In this question. The first is. The first is. Mark is. Are you sure? Is the first or the second the second, one? The, the, the second, second. Second. The second is. The second is. ¿Están todos yes. de acuerdo? Do you yes. agree? Okay. okay, so what is Mark going to buy? So this is the first topic that we studied, right? This was the first topic that we studied. Going to, what is Mark going to buy? Let's listen and you are going to tell me the answer. Here we go. Maybe a time. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, what is Mark going to buy? Twitter. Is he going to buy a tie? A sweater. A sweater. sweater. A sweater. He's going to buy a sweater. Okay, let's see if you're right. Here is the transcript of the conversation. So, what are you going to buy for your father? ¿Cuál sería otra manera de decir esto? What are you going to buy for your father? Going. Going, going to. Utilizando going to. Excellent. So I'm what are you to. going to buy for your father? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Maybe a tie. What is a tie? I'm not so sure. A tie. 
Una corbata. Una corbata. Una tight. No, no una corbata. No. Then what? No, entonces qué? How about a nice sweater? ¿Qué hay de un bonito suéter? Look at this sweater here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get, I'll get it one things. Okay. So this is the listening part. Do you have any questions? Practice. So two volunteers to practice in the last small conversation. Hi, <coughs> teacher. Thank you, Mario. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Luis. You can start, Mario. Hey. Hey, teacher. Hello. Start. Hello, hello. Start. Hi. Okay, you can start. Okay, Go. okay, okay. What are you gonna buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie. Oh, no, not a tie. No, then what? How about my sweater? Look at this sweater's hair. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get I get it one. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Let's go with the next exercise in this part. Look at this map. Which places can you see in this map? Do you remember this map? Yes, the King Plaza Hotel. Okay, a hotel. Yeah, Any other place? Yeah, it's a hotel. Yeah, it's a hotel. The France Cafe. France Avenue. 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 France Cafe. Drugstore. Drugstore. Okay, Parker Drugstore. Gas station. A gas it's station. A shoes. Department store. First National Bank. Top shoes. Okay, so Fresh do you gas station? Gas station to department store. Department Fresh. store. Just gym. A gym. Joyce gym. Library. Library. There is a public library. Public library. Public library. Rosas restaurant. Rosas restaurant, yes. Mom pop grocery. Mom and pop's grocery. Ah, uh, grocery. Parker is drug store. Post office. A post office, okay. Frank's, Frank's coffee. Frank's coffee. Frank's cafe. Frank cafe. Okay, excellent. So do you remember the preposition of place? Which are they? Can you list them? Post office. Can you can you list? Can you list the preposition of place? Okay, do you remember this one next to on the corner of behind, behind across from in between? On. Okay. On, on is missing in this, right? So on. So let me ask you a question. Where is the department store? Where is the Second department store? Second Avenue and My Street. Que sería oh. avenida, la segunda avenida. Acá okay, principal. First Avenue, My Street. En el audio 3. En el audio 3. Ah, no, it doesn't, nothing to do with the audio, right? It, this is another exercise. So in this you have to look at you have to look at the map and tell me what is what is the department store? Here is the department store. So can you give me some direction of how to get there? The department store is on, is on Main Street on corner of. Oh, in this case, it's not in the corner of, right? It's Good on evening, class. I'm Hello. sorry. To Good I evening. have to be here with all of you now. Okay, Isidro, welcome to the class. I'm sorry, but my car was broken. I'm sorry to hear that, right? It is <laughs> really hot, really okay. hot. Okay, 
Ok. Así se dice recalentado, re hot. <laughs> ok. Um, I'm not sure. It's broken down, right? Yes, yeah, right now. <laughs> it's broken down. Your car is broken down. So let's see. Um, probably is there a problem with the radiator? The department store is on the A Street. Yes. Oh, the, the, the department <laughs> store is on Main Street. Excellent. Ah. Okay. Any <laughs> other <laughs> any other preposition? Preposition. Uh, use one of these oh, ones. The department store is. Is next to oh, the Joe's Gym. Next to the Joe's Gym. Excellent. Thank it's you. next to the Joe's Gym. Where is the first national bank? The national bank. Where is the national bank? Let me it's see. It's on First Avenue behind to King Plaza Hotel. Okay. It, um... No. In front of... No, it is on Pine Street. It's on Pine, Pine, Pine Street. Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. Yeah. Across from King Plaza across Hotel. From, across from Plaza Hotel. Okay. And and next and to the Prince Grocery. And next to the Prince next Grocery. The Prince. Very good. So where is where is the park? Where is the park? The park. Because it's on Main Street across of post office. Okay, it's on Main Street. On Main Street across up the post office. Okay, it's across from the post office. You can say it's on Pine Street, right? I guess this is the also this is the, the gate park of the is park. between and uh, on Second Avenue or First Avenue. Okay, excellent. It's between First Avenue and Second Avenue. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now let's see. Can you find where is the laundromat? Where is the laundromat? Where is the laundromat? Tell me a sentence. Where is the laundromat? Laundromat. It's on Main Street. It's on Main Street. No, it's in First Avenue. It's in the corner of First yeah. Avenue. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Sorry. This is First Avenue, and here is the laundromat. Oh. The corner. Oh. So, and the laundromat is in the corner of the First Avenue. No? No, not really on the corner. On the, the, on the post, corner, on the, on the corner. corner. Behind the across post office. Across from, the cats. Across from behind the post office. On the corner of. It is it on First Avenue in the corner behind post office. Um, you, are near. You, are, you are really close to the answer. So let's see. You can say it is across from the First Avenue Shopping Center. That is, escuché esa, esa oración, it was good. And the other one is the laundromat is behind the post office, which is another option. And also you can say it's on First Avenue. Está en la primera avenida. So let's see, next question, what is, what is the, let's see, Parker's Drugstore? What is Parker's Drugstore? The Parker Drugstore is between a mom and pop grocery and let me see the name and Top Shoes. Top Shoes, excellent, very good. That is a right answer. So Parker's Drugstore is between between, which means, what is the meaning of between? Entre. Entre, ¿verdad? En Entre. medio de. En medio between. De. It's between mom and pop's grocery and top shoes. Very good. Let's go with another one. What is Frank's Cafe? What is Frank's Cafe? Frank's Cafe. On Elm Street. Elm Street. It's on Main it's, Street. No. Oh, sorry, El El Street. El Street. On corner of. Oh, we can say it's on the corner of. 
on the corner of oh. on next to the Jameson Hotel. Jameson oh. Hotel. Okay, next to Jameson next Hotel. Jameson. Or oh, between mm -hmm. the Rosas Restaurant and Jameson Hotel. Mm, we can say also. We can say also that. Maybe. Also. Maybe, right? It's between. Okay, so do you have any question about preposition of place? You are going to find some of them in the final test, in the final exam. So do you, do you have any question? Sorry. <clears throat> no question. No question no. at the moment. No question at the moment, right? In the test, van a tener preguntas, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you are going I to find... I don't think so. It's, it's kind of easy. Now let's see. We are going to find also this question in the final exam. Uh, so an example, mind. right? Where your parents born in the US? It's a just no question. Where your parents born in the US? Yes, I was. Or yes, I were. Uh, yeah, yes, I were. Really? Yes, they were. 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 Okay, let's do something. Here are the questions and here are the answers. So you have to look the answer here in this part. In the letter. So where your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They were born in El Salvador. In Esa. In Esa. In El Salvador. They were born in El Salvador. Let's see the next question. Where did you grow up? It's an information question. I grew up in San Michael. San Michael. Okay. I grew up in San Miguel. Who was your first English teacher? It was my first English teacher. My first English teacher was Mr. Collins. Yes, that is the right answer. Mr. Ever, Mr. Ever Really? I don't think so, right? I was. I have ten. I have ten. Walter, ya no haga el examen. <laughs> so when did you come to New York? When did you come to New York? I came to New York in, New York in 2010. Okay, and the last one. How was your first day in the U.S.? How was your first day in the U.S.? It was a little sad. I miss my I miss my country. Okay, I missed my country. My country. Okay, very good. So let's see. Uh, this, this is a yes no question. Where your parents were in the US? You say no, they weren't. They were born in El Salvador. Where did you grow up? You say I grew up in San Miguel. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Colin. Uh, when did you come to New York? You say, I came to New York in 2010. How was your first day in the US? It was a little sad. I missed my country. So, yo extrañaba mi país, right? Yo extrañaba mi país. I, it was a little sad. He was so, crying. <laughs> probably, right? And this person was crying a lot in the US, but with a lot of dollars too, right? With money. <laughs> money, money. Much and money. I need to volunteer to practice in these questions. One is going to read the question and another one is going to read the answer. Who wants to try? I read the question. Thank you, Walter. Any volunteer to read the answers? I mean, thank you, Julio. You can start, Walter, please. Okay. Where you part and born in the US? Um, like? Nine. B. Oh. No, they weren't. They weren't born in El Salvador. 
Where do you group up? Where do you, where do you, where do you grow up? I grew, I grew up in San Martin. Okay. Who was your favorite English teacher? I, my first English teacher was Mr. Colin. Okay. When uh, did you come to the New York? Uh, I come to New York in uh, 2019. Okay. How was your first day in the U.S.? Uh, it was a little sad. I miss my country. <coughs> okay. okay. Thank, thank you. you very much, Walter. Thank you very much, um, Julio. Thank you. You did a great Welcome job. Teacher. That was excellent. Thank you. So, what is the meaning of the first question? Were your parents born in the U.S.? What is the meaning of this question? Nacieron tus padres. Where you? Nacieron tus padres en la U.S. The next one. Where did you grow up? Donde tus padres nacieron. Donde creciste. Okay. Who was your first English teacher? ¿Quién fue tu primer profesor de inglés? When did you come to New York? How was your first day in the U.S.? Okay, very good. So you are going to find this type of question in your final exam. So good luck, right, with that. Now here is the key answer: one D, two A, three E, four C, and five B. So thank you, you did a great job in this. Now we're going to read sequence of events, right? In sequence of events, the sequencia de eventos, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos hablando, generalmente llevamos una secuencia, right? Eh, y así debemos de ordenarlo in English too, right? So you have to order your ideas and then say them, right? Eh, look at this example. Yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. That is the first event, right? My wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. This is the second ring, the second event. Las luces se apagaron, right? the lights went out. We heard a lot of screaming. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. So that is the third event. Ring. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. That is the fourth event. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So the fifth event is, el quinto evento es, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So what is this a small paragraph about? What is it about? Está hablando de un asalto en el restaurante. The robbery. Okay, it was a robbery in a restaurant. Very good. Yeah. So tengan cuidado el 14, si van a ir a cenar en algún restaurante. Just be, just, just be careful. Right? So yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. That day. <laughs> yes, it is, right? So the same as in El Salvador, right? Look at this. The police, the police arrive after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes. Okay. Igual que acá, right? In this minute, really? 10 minutes, right? <laughs> similar. <laughs> and, similar. Yes. Oh, yeah. and an, another thing that is similar here in El Salvador is this one. We never recover our money. That, that is very common. <laughs> even, even when the police arrive in 10 minutes, so we never recover our money. <laughs> okay, lost, now. Okay. Lost the money. They lost the money. So I have some question for you in this reading. So any volunteer to read this paragraph? Who wants to try it? <laughs> Any volunteer? Okay, teacher. Thank you, Luis. Volunteers. Okay. 
Yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lights went out. We heard a lot of screams. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out suddenly, and men appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hands. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they cuffed the thieves. But we never recovered our money. That was excellent, Luis. Perfect job. Thank you very much. So I have some questions for you about this. Uh, when did this happen? When did this happen? When did this happen? ¿Cuándo sucedió? Okay, ¿cuándo sucedió? ¿Cuándo sucedió Eso. esto? O esto, ya. Yeah. In the is... evening. Okay. Uh, ¿La tarde de cuándo? O la noche de cuándo, sorry. ¿La noche de cuándo? Yes, de ayer. Ah, yes, ok. Yes, It happened happen, yesterday yes, evening. It happened yes. yesterday evening. What time was it when the lights went out? What time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. What time was it when the, time, when the lights went out? ¿Qué horas eran? Oh. It was 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. 11. 10 o'clock. It was 11 o'clock. Let's see the next question. What did they want to do then? What did they want to do then? They want to go out. Okay. They, they wanted to go out. They want to go out. Yeah. Who was the man that appeared? Who was the man that appeared? Two men. Two men. Two, two men. Ah, two he, men. He, he was a thief. He yeah, was a thief. In number yeah. five, what did the people give the thieves? Did the people give the thieves? The money. Money. Okay. Money. People gave the thief their gave money. The thief their money. Their money. And the last one, did the police catch the thief? The police catch the thief? No, when the No. Away. Yes, they are. Yes, they? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay. What is the only yes, no question in these questions? What does that mean, thief, teacher? Thief. Thief. Ladron. Thief. Thieves, ladrones. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the plural, right? Did the, poli did, did the police catch the thieves? Los policías agarraron los ladrones. Okay. Yes, they did. This is the only yes, no question. The rest of the question are yes, no question. We're asking for information. When? A qué horas, verdad? Cuando? Yeah. When did this happen? It happened. Yesterday. It happened. Yes. What time, right? It's asking for a it time. What time was it when the lights went out? It was 11 o'clock. Okay. What did they want to do then? They wanted to go out. Who was the man that appeared? He was a thief. What did the people give the thieves? People gave the thief their money. And did the police catch the thief? Yes, they did. So okay. where you are talking, where you are telling a story uh, of past event, remember that you need to follow, let's see, an order, right? Tiene que organizar, ¿verdad? hacer una secuencia de eventos, a sequence of events, right? Let's see, for example, the question, uh, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? Then you start, right? For your morning activities, then your afternoon activities, and finally your evening activities. So, as an example, any volunteer to practice in this, uh, reading the question and the answer, please. 
Me teacher. Hey, thank you, Julio and Jonathan. Julio and Jonathan. Jonathan DJ. No. <laughs> okay. When did this happen? It uh, happened yesterday. Uh, what time? What time was it when the light went out? It was 11 o'clock. Okay. What did they want to do then? They wanted to go out. Uh, who was the man that happened? He was a thief. What did the people give the thieves? People have the divers their money. Did the police catch the thieves? Yes, they did. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Julio and Jonathan. Very good job. That was excellent. Thank you. So appeared, appeared. Yeah. Appeared. It's, it's a regular bear, right? It's in, in this sound, right? In sound. Appeared. In our sound. So it's the sound appeared. And oh. also give the pass of this bear is this gave. People gave the thief their money. Gave. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's continue with this. So Ricky Martin. Do you like Ricky Martin music? Yes, I like. Yes, so let's read something about him, right? So Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December. It's, a, it's it? the favorite singer that you like. Okay. Oh, he's your life's favorite singer. Is it true, Julio? <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, on December, how do you read this number? How do you read this number? 24. 24. 24. How, how do you read this year? I think 1971. 1971. Okay. He was always, he was always a uh, performing as a child. He, how do you read this bird? Uh, Appen. Appear. Appen. Appear. Uh, appeared in television Appear. commercials. Television commercials. And, and studied singing. Yeah. At the age of 12, he, how do you pronounce this word? He joined. Joined. Joined the Latin boy band called Menudo. He, how do you pronounce this word? Work. 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 He worked hard he worked. He worked. with them and with became them. very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin, or Ricky Martin, moved to New York, to New York City, but he, how do you pronounce that? He didn't, didn't. He didn't, didn't. Work. work. He didn't work for a year. A year. He wow. was very frustrated. So him, how do you pronounce this? So he moved, 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 moved with this sound, right? Moved, moved to Mexico City, moved, and got a part of Mexican soap opera. So afterward, he recorded. How do you pronounce this? He. Record. 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 Si el, si el verbo termina en sonido de D, el, la pronunciación del pasado simple. Record. 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 Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway shop, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. The album was, how do you pronounce this word? Called. 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 Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca. 
Wasn't that album? Okay. Did you sing the song? Cantaron esta canción, Living yes. la Vida Loca? Yes. I'm dancing. Ah, I'm dancing oh. too. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Dancing too. <laughs> okay, let's do the cosa. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's read the last paragraph. Now no. he's famous okay. around the world, but he still works hard and he still uh, loves singing. As he said to a reporter from a newspaper, USA Today, I want to do this forever. What is the meaning of this? This forever. I want to do this forever. I what is the meaning of this? Quiero hacer esto. Para por siempre. siempre. Para siempre o por siempre. Muy bien. I want to do this Always forever. Time. Ever and ever and ever. Ok. <laughs> ever and forever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Ok. Espero que así digan de su trabajo. I want to do this forever. <laughs> yes. O no. O no. Yes or not. Yes. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Yes, okay. My voice. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this? Any question? Eh, sí. Una pregunta. Este, ¿Cuándo termina eh, las clases en Zoom? Uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow. our last class. Ah, por eso que estaba diciendo que esta mañana teníamos para entregar las de yes. la plataforma. Yes. Where is, where is the despedida? Oh, okay. Teacher, <laughs> what is the meaning of Performance. 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 Ah, performer. performer. Oh, what is it? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Performer is, let's see, performing in Spanish. He was oh, always a performer. Wow. Yeah, it's like an actor, right? It's like an actor. He was always an actor. It's a um, synonym, but in Spanish, performer is like, I can find the word in the Spanish room. Where, where will be the ceremony of the graduation? Ah, okay. We're going to have wine and champagne for tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we need, we need buy per champagne. Performer, the right translation of this is um, interpreter, right? artist, artist, interpreter. That is performer, interpreter. <laughs> Performing. Okay. Very good question. Thank you, Isidro. Any other new work here? No. Then I, I have some question. I have some question. What did Ricky Martin study it? Do you remember? What did Ricky Martin study it? Eh, singer, eh, singer, opera. soap opera. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you the answer, and you find here, find here the answer. He studied you, singing. Yes, yes, you were he right. Studied he studied singing. 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 Very good. Singing. 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 He studied singing. He studied singing. singing. How long was he singing. in the noodle? How long? Cuánto tiempo? How long was he, he was in the noodle? Years. Five years. Five years. Five he, years. He Where did he move first? First, sorry. When did he move Where first? He move? New York. Uh, New York. New York. Did he appear in a soap opera? Yes. He was. Yes, he yes. did. Yes, no question. Yes, he did. How many albums did he record in Spanish? He recorded he two albums. Two albums. How was the name of his English album? Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Okay. Where was Ricky Martin born? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. He was born in Puerto Rico. He was in Puerto Rico, yeah. Okay. How do you, yes. How do you, how do you, 
how do you read in Spanish? Uh, did he open in sub opera? Uh, apareció él en alguna novela o en una novela? Did he appear in a sub opera? Apareció él en una novela? Yes, he appeared. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, okay. The last activity for tonight is this one. So I have here the answer. I have here the answer. So what is the question? I was born in 1989. What is the question? I was born in when, 1989. When? When? How? How old year? Oh, okay. It's when <laughs> were you born? <laughs> you were close. You were close. It's when, when were you born? When were you born? He said, I was I born was, in. I was near. I was born in Cuscatlan. I was born in Cuscatlan. What is the question? It's a place, right? I was born in Cuscatlan. Oh, where? Okay. Where you born? Where, 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 you born? where, where you born? Where were you born? Very where good. He's asking for a place. Where were you born? Uh, I grew up in Cojutepeque. I grew up in Cojutepeque. When grew up? When you grew up? You are close, but there is not a great right word. Where? 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 You grew, grew up. Where, where. Okay, here is the question. You were close. Where did you, where did you grow? grow? I grew up in Cujutepeque. I studied English. I studied where, English. Where, where did you study? Okay, what did you study? What did, what, you, study? What did you study? I studied yeah. English. And the last one, my favorite singer was Ricardo Arjona because he sang romantic song, songs. What did you, did you favorite singer? Who? Oh, who, you are who, close. Yeah. Who? 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 Okay, who? Who, who was, was your favorite, was your favorite, favorite singer? singer? When you were a child and why? Okay, who was your favorite singer? Very good, very good job. So do you have any questions? Uh, you are going to find some of these questions on the final exam, right? El Taxi. Okay, how oh, El Taxi, yes, that is a very good song, right? El, ta el Taxi. <laughs> okay. El 14 estará de moda. Yes, right, all the romantic songs. <laughs> Uh, any question for tonight's class? <clears throat> okay, I'm sure that you are going to find some of these questions, some of these prepositions, we need, and we also need to practice very hard. And also the listening part, you are going to find this useful when doing your final exam. Uh, don't forget that you have to do it tonight, right? And tomorrow in the day. Because tomorrow we are going to have our last classroom. Mañana es nuestra última clase. Tienen que completar todo lo de pl la plataforma. Uh, hoy en la noche. Okay. Y Hasta mañana. Qué clase llega, pero... <ríe> eh, excuse me. ¿Hasta qué clase llega, teacher? Eh, son 16 clases. There are 16 clases. And tomorrow is the last one. Okay. Okay, Thank so you. don't forget about the platform, right? Ahora sí hay presión, but then you have to do it, right? Yes, teacher. <laughs> you have to yes. do it or you have to do it, right? Um, don't forget that is the 80%, right? At least the 80%, al menos el 80%, right? If not, you are not going to get your diploma. And that is what you are being working hard. Por eso he estado trabajando muy duro estos días, ¿verdad? Conectándose a las clases, resolviendo los ejercicios. So do it, right? We yeah. are almost to finish. Estamos casi terminando. So the platform, right? It's important. It's really important. 
es muy importante que usted la complete si le hace falta, si en alguna sección usted tiene el 80, el 60%, todavía puede regresar ¿verdad? y resolver los ejercicios una vez más. And don't forget about the WhatsApp group. Right? No se olvide del grupo de WhatsApp. You can write your question there and we are going to help you. Puede escribir ahí sus preguntas y con gusto le ayudamos. ¿verdad? No se olvide de eso. If you have an equation, just write. Write them down and we are going to happy to help you. So, thank you for being here with me tonight. See you tomorrow right, in our last class. Don't miss oh. it. Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank bye you. bye. Thank bye you. bye. Have a good yeah. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good tomorrow, everybody. Tomorrow. Practice, practice.